Yeah. You pushed on. I did. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your spiritual liaison. One, two, three. Where the truth will be told. Keep your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself. Live your absolute best life and make sure that you get a good life on every single day. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure, make sure that you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Um, it keeps the algorithm going on my channel and I love you guys for doing that. And drop a comment in the comment section. Thank you. So the first card that fell out was our nine of swords and see all of these accomplishments that you've had in the background. You are holding on tight. You've got, it, it, it wasn't easy. You worked very hard to get to where you are with this nine of wands. You worked very hard. No one could take you back from you. You worked very hard. Um, it wasn't easy to get there. You accomplished a lot. You got a lot of accolades. Um, you could be looking, you could be very protective. Pisces of what you have worked hard for. Thank you so much, Cross Watchers, for what you have done for me. For coming to my channel and checking out my channel and hitting that like, share, and subscribe button. The next card, I'm so, okay. The next card is the world card. So Pisces, you work very hard to get to where you are. You have a lot of accomplishments in the background. You have this world card um, behind you. You are changing your world. You're changing things that are happening to you. So the card, it's Ace of Swords. Then we have the Ace of Swords. We're not doing any reverses in this read, and we're going to see how things are going to play out. With the Ace of Swords, you're looking for something new, a new beginning, some sort of, you're willing to cut something off brutally. Honestly, cut through. You don't even care anymore about what anybody thinks. You just want to cut it off, period, because you're looking to start something new. After gaining all of these accolades, after gaining all of these accomplishments in your background, you're not willing to deal with a whole bunch of foolishness anymore. And your world has changed for the better. And then you have the temperance card. So things are balancing out in some way. Pisces, with this Aquarius, you could have an Aquarius, a fire sign. You could have a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio, as well as a, um, a uh, what is the other sign? Let's see. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. In your chart, um, an air sign it could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. You're leaving something behind. You have decided to do something new. No one understands. I feel like you're misunderstood, Pisces. People do not understand the direction you're going in. You're going in a direction that people do not understand. So you could have people around you. Who are saying, what are you doing? Why are you making these decisions? What was your what is your purpose? Pisces, you have decided to do something that people do not agree with. So what? Who gives a shit? Right? Um, so you've decided to put down your sword. You're not willing to fight to make these people see your point of view anymore. Something about you not even caring about them seeing your point of view anymore. All you care about is if they, you don't even care about them. I see it. You care about how you feel. What's going on in your life? How things are going to change? That matters. I love it. I love it, Pisces. That's how it should be. And then you have the death card, but it's in reverse. So something you're not even willing to put it into anymore. Something you could have been looking to put a death to. Something you wanted to put an end to. 
could have been with a Scorpio because the death card represents a Scorpio. Something you was willing to say enough is enough. I'm not willing to put a death to this anymore. You want something now to change. So you could be reconsidering something in your life. You could have reconsidered something after contemplating on some situations, wondering what is going on now, right? So after dealing with some situations where you decided, okay, I'm not willing to just end everything suddenly, I'm going to hold out. But you want some sort of new beginning. You've accomplished a lot. You have all of these all of these wands behind you represent represent accomplishments. You're holding on to this tight because you've worked hard to get here. It wasn't easy. It was not easy. You what you accomplished did not come easy. You had to work for it. And that means you cried a lot. It was blood, sweat, and tears. It could have looked easy to others. It wasn't easy to you at all. Then you have the three of rods, and that means the three of sports, meaning that you are so happy to see your ships come in. You're so happy to see things progress. Things move forward. Things come to you. Old times ending, new times beginning. Five and five of pentacles and the reverse hard times coming to end. Things are ending. You're no longer feeling left out in the cold. You know, you are no longer worrying about what you don't have, about what you have not gotten, about what you have not succeeded in, because you have succeeded in so much. You have gained so much. You have loved. You have been loved. You no longer have to worry about what you do not have. And I love that, Pisces. I absolutely love that. That is the way it's supposed to be, right? Okay. Um, For all those who are concerned or worried or asking... I am still doing, I'm still working on getting my Vimeo set up so I can do extended videos there. So I can do just very short videos on YouTube um, or just do certain videos on YouTube and then do the extended readings on Vimeo. Okay, Justice card in reverse. Whatever this card is, hmm. Five of Cups. Something felt hopeless. No justice served. No, no hope for something. Was the outcome for situations? Pisces, that is coming to an end. You have decided that you will not be that person who has who has had to deal with um being unjustly judged you're unjust you're, you're not treated right things are not uh, being balanced in your life and you've decided that you know what i don't like that and so you have decided to change things with this five of cups something about you feeling like things are not working out in your favor um, you've had some sort of sorrow has come into the picture and and that's not okay Pisces so you're unhappy about a current situation and you're looking to change that okay and so I'm going to bring in another group of cards only because I found that the more you change the card sometimes the most the more accurate the reading make sure you hit that like share and subscribe button I thank you so much 
to all of my Pisces who have reached out to me and donated just because you love my channel so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh, crap. Okay. The cards that fail, I want to let them fall this time. I never do that. I'm going to do it this time. I feel like it was something about it needed. Those were not supposed to be in our deck. Mm, I said that. Look at the card that came out. I pulled it. Six of Wands. That's a victory card. Pisces, you have a victory coming in. You've been so worried about something happening, something that has, you have been focused so much on what you have lost, what you have not gained, something that has happened in your life. You have the nine of wands, you got all of these blessings behind you that you, like you've accomplished a lot. You've left so much behind. You don't even see it though. Because you're so focused on what you've lost. you got major victories after facing major defeat. Major hurt. Major freaking like betrayal. Something you got to go. Something has got to go. You can no longer keep holding on to this Pisces. And then I'm going to do one. One. Just one. Last deck. One last pull. For my Pisces. And we are going to see. What that is. And let's go. Thank you so much for my camera person, my V. Appreciate you. Okay. We're only pulling two I mean two cards. <laughs> Six of sports. Leaving something behind and looking forward to new journeys. Looking forward because you know blessings are coming. They're leave if you look at this, like if you look at this, if you notice all of these swords, they're going past them. And then at the end, you see real estate, you see land. They're going to something new. You're moving on to something new after a hard time of betrayal. Then you have the ten of the ten of wands in reverse. You are tired of working hard for something that isn't worth it. Something that is not worth it. You've been putting a lot of work. You could feel like, oh, you know what? I put so much energy, so much work, so much time into something that is not worth it. Something that does not deserve my attention anymore. So you've decided to leave it alone. You've let something go. That no one else has paid attention to because you're tired of not having your victories. You are tired of feeling that depression and that sorrow. I love it, Pisces. Own your energy. Own your space. Don't tolerate foolishness. I love it. I love it. I love it. One last card. I'm pulling. Hmm. Ten. Okay. It was the t I, I I was gonna shuffle like so many cards. I shuffled these cards before. So so after this, thank you. Completion, wholeness. I love it. Pisces, you have completed a process whether you know it or not. You went through this with someone who was not appreciative of you. You went through a process. You had to learn your lesson. You had to learn what it feels like to not be appreciated. You had to learn what it feels like to have to leave something behind 
and justice not being in your favor or justice not being served. Because you dealt with that, you learn serious lessons that cannot be taught in a book. Now, temperance, your balance, you're on land, you're in the water, you sort of like, you have all of your elements around you. You no longer feel like you have to fight anymore. You're no longer feeling like you're mentally incompetent to deal with certain situations anymore. You are happy to see that progress. All of those beautiful things come in to you. The victory, you've, you've, you've won all of these victories through the years. Through the years. It could have taken you so long. To accomplish certain things. Your world has changed. Things, you do not see things the same as you used to see them. People don't even see you as the same. Things are new now. With this Ace of Swords, you've cut so much off out your life. You've trimmed the edges on the BS. You're no longer tolerating the whole pack of bullshit you've trimmed the edges you only accept what is good for you now you have let go of so much foolishness and people weren't ready for that they wasn't ready for the new pisces they wasn't ready for that they wasn't ready for you to put a death to something, something for you to end something. So, and when I say they wasn't ready, that's why the death card is in reverse. They weren't ready for things to end. You're ready for it to end. They're not. You're tired of BS, Pisces. You're tired of being left out in the cold. <laughs> you refuse that. And I love it because you know you deserve so much more than that. And then... You don't want to feel that sorrow anymore. They're sorry for what they've done. They don't know how to deal with it now. It hurts a lot. You're looking for victories to come. You're looking for prosperity and happiness. No more are you willing for these relationships to be unbalanced and for you not to see what's before you. You're ready to see what's before you. You're ready to see that you deserve true happiness and joy in your life, prosperity. You're not willing to, to live in a relationship that's unbalanced where others are getting accolades or things are unbalanced where you're holding more of the relationship than others. I love that. Good. End of the reading, Pisces. I love you. Thank you so much with this 10 card. This, this is just basically finishing this up, basically saying, do not treat me the way that you don't want to, you don't want to be treated this way. Don't treat me that way. That's what this reading is saying. Treat me with respect, dignity, love, and prosperity energy, right? Right? Um, not that energy of take, 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 but the energy of even balance, right? And so, um, I love that. I love it. That's the end of the read. I thank you so much. Make sure that you hydrate, 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 get plenty of water in, go for a beautiful walk, Pisces, and love yourself and make sure that you love those who love you without any strings attached, right? And that's it.